Hello everybody, this is Drive-In Theory Test, uh, questions and revision. It's a 20 minute tutorial and it's number one. There's going to be lots of um, uh, links and uh, free PDFs to download. Uh, so keep watching right to the end. Cheers guys. And here is the best place to start your journey in terms of um, theory test revision and uh, theory test questions. And it's at the government.uk uh, website. I will leave a link for this website in the description. Uh, so you can have a look at that and click into it and get straight to this page. Now this page tells us, as we look down, um, that it talks about the highway code. But it's saying that not all the signs are in the highway code. And if you want a, a more... Uh, uh, you know, a, a better, a more comprehensive explanation of the of the signs. You can go to know your traffic signs, and that's a link there. If you click into that link, and it takes you to here, traffic signs. I'll leave a link that will that will be in the description that will get you to this page, and also a link where you can get straight to uh, Amazon, where you can buy. Uh, one of those if you wish to. Also, there'll be a link to the highway code and to the driver's manual. But we're interested in this one today, and this is a download for the traffic signs. And it's a free download. You can just take it, uh, you can just download that, download that onto your laptop. And it's saying the traffic signs are in five different categories, giving orders, uh, warning, direction signs, information signs, and roadwork signs. Today we're interested in the signs that give orders. So if we click into this link, we come to this page. And this page is where all the traffic signs are. So this is a DBSA document. So it's an official document and it's saying the signs with red circles are mostly prohibitive. Uh, the plates below the signs qualify their message. And it gives you a whole load of the signs there. So let's just have a look at some of these signs in a little bit depth so you know uh, exactly where you are and what you're doing. So here's a speed limit sign. Now this sign means national speed limit applies. The national speed, you'll see this sign uh, where you're, if you're driving out of um, a, a, a kind of town area and into a more countryfied area, where the streets, uh, the, kind of the houses finish, and also critically, the lampposts come to an end. So there's no street lighting. You'll see this sign here um, in, on, a, in a, on a lot of occasions on either side of the road, and it and it'll say, and it's national speed limit applies. And the national speed limit for a single carriageway road where there's no street lighting is 60, 60. So that's another question you may get asked in the theory test. And then the, the more common uh, road uh, speed limit signs are these with red circles and then a number in the middle. And the number denotes the maximum speed you're allowed to do on that road. So on this particular road, you're only allowed to go at 40 miles an hour or less. Now the thing to remember that that's not a target. It's only to say that that's the absolute maximum you're allowed to go. So that's 40 miles an hour. Sometimes it will say 20, 30, 50, and then the national speed limit sign, that one is 60. You may see a sign like this, and this is an upside down triangle. So it's not a circular disc at all, but it's an upside down triangle. Now this sign, it says give way. And the reason that it's upside down like that is so that if it snows and the sign is covered, then you could still tell what it is because this is the only sign that has this shape to it. Um, and that means give way. Sometimes the give way in the middle is not written in there. It still means give way. And there's a road marking as well, uh, which looks very much like this, uh, which also means give way. Now, give way doesn't mean stop. It just means give way to the traffic or let them go first on the traffic for the main road. This one, 
Again, this is not an obvious one, but this is no entry. So you might see this sign at the, at the wrong end, if you like, of a one-way street. And uh, it's saying, don't turn in here because you'll be driving the wrong way on a one-way street. So don't do that. Um, yeah, you see it in other places as well. But mainly, it's at the end of a, wrong end of a one-way street. And it's saying, no entry, do not enter. This one then is a red circle with a band going through it and it's saying do not turn left. So there'll be, a, there'll be a junction ahead and it's saying you can't turn in there. And again, you may see this on approach to the wrong end of a one way street again. And it's, it's giving you a warning there or it's telling you that you're not allowed to turn into the next road on the left. And there's, a, there's an equivalent for that for turning right. And there it is. So that's saying no turn right or no right turn. <laughs> this one then is also telling you not to do something because it's a red circle and it's saying no stopping. Very often underneath there will be a, a plate which says no stopping clear way. And this will be mainly on a road where it's like a trunk road that runs through the town where they want to keep the traffic flowing and keep everything moving. So they're saying no stopping. Sometimes they call these red routes as well. And you might see a couple of red lines down the side of the road. But no stopping. This one is again a red circle. So it's telling you not to do something. And it's saying no U-turn. Don't turn around on this road. You know, if you need to go back the other way, you will have to find a junction and go around the block or you'd have to find a roundabout to go around but it's saying no u-turn and this is that you'll find this generally on uh like big crossroads where there's uh traffic lights and everything and you've got two big main roads that cross each other and it will it will say uh, no u-turn on those this one is saying no waiting so it's only one line the other one was a cross going across the middle, if you remember. So this is only one line. This saying no waiting. So by no waiting, it means it, it means you can pull up. You can let someone get out of the car or let someone get in the car, but then you must drive off. You can't wait there for something to happen. So if you're like a taxi driver or you're picking someone up from work or from hospital or from anywhere, really, you see this sign, it's saying don't park here, but you can uh, let people in and out. This one you'll see on the end of a lollipop ladies or lollipop gentlemen's stick. And um, uh, when, they, when they stick this out into the road, then you must stop. It's, saying, it's, it's actually saying stop and it's saying there's children and it will be at a, a crossing where the lollipop lady is uh, working. This one you'll see at the end of the road and it will be accompanied by a solid white line. And uh, it means stop. And again, it's a strange shape. It's the only one, the only sign of this shape. And again, that's just in case it snows. So you can still make out what the sign is. Uh, when, you, when you do come up to a, a, a junction where there's a stop sign like this and a stop, solid stop line, you must stop the car put your handbrake on and give way to the traffic on the main road. So it's not just stop really, it's stop and give way. Uh, but uh, the thing here, here is here, if you're on your test, you don't stop, put the handbrake on, on a, at a stop line, you will fail. So these two signs, they give um, an idea about your vehicle, these signs. So this one is saying that no, again, it's prohibiting with a red circle, no vehicles above this length, 32 foot 6 inches or 9.9 .9 meters can drive down this road. And this may be because it's very bendy. There might be hairpin bends there or the road might go very narrow and it's bending. And uh, it's saying that if, you're, if your vehicle is longer than this, you won't be able to get down that road. So don't go down that road. If, you, if you're in a long vehicle. This one talks about the height of the vehicle here now. And you'll usually see this uh, on a bridge. 
um, you, know, you might see it on the top of a bridge uh, or, or the bridge, the, the highest point that you can drive under the bridge. And it's saying anything that's above four meters and four or 14 foot six will not fit under this bridge. So again, don't don't try and drive under it because uh, you will be you will get stuck. And now this is the width and it's the same thing. Uh, you might find this on approach to a bridge or on any kind of road really that's that's really narrow. And it's saying if you're over two foot wide or six foot six or over two foot. What am I talking about? Two meters wide uh, or six foot six. then uh, don't drive through this bridge because, again, you'll get jammed in. You get jammed into the bridge. And uh, that was that's never good news. Now we see signs that are accompanied by plates. And this one. Uh, says give way to oncoming vehicles so we have a red sign there and if we're driving in this direction of the red line which is where what we will be doing it's saying give way to the vehicles coming from the opposite side and on these signs there's a there's a sign that's opposite to this at the other end uh, of this particular little road work if you like uh, that, that gives a bigger arrow in the opposite direction so it's the bigger arrow that has priority basically so you'll see that and on this one it's saying that oncoming vehicles have the priority and the, the, the uh, plate is emphasizing that this one here is saying anything above this weight 7.5 tons I uh, can't drive down this road unless you're loading so you might be going to you might be delivering uh, things to a shop or a warehouse or you're picking up things from a shop or a warehouse and you have to load uh, then you can drive down there if you're above 7.5 tons otherwise not don't do that and this 7.5 tons doesn't just mean the weight of the vehicle but it means the weight of the vehicle you inside the vehicle and the cargo it's called the gross weight and you can't drive uh, down there if you exceed that road, if you exceed that weight. This is a this is a a, a, a sign which says uh, no uh, stopping. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> not no. <laughs> doesn't say no stopping, does it? It says no waiting. It's an urban clear way, um, so you can you can just you can just let people get on and off. It's an urban clear way from Monday to Friday at 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. And then and basically in the rush hour from 4.30 to 6.30. So it's basically the rush hours. It's saying uh, no waiting or no stopping there. This one doesn't always have this plate here. But um, quite nicely, they put a plate in. It says no vehicles. So if you see a red circle like that with nothing in, be in the middle of it, it means no vehicles. It means if you're a car, a bus, uh, a, you know, a bike, a bicycle, whatever it is, don't go down there um, then uh, because there's no vehicles allowed down that road. This one here is uh, saying this is the... Uh, uh, gross the maximum gross weight again of 18 tons so if your vehicle the maximum gross weight means the the vehicle you inside the vehicle any passengers you have and your cargo if that all comes to above 18 tons you can't go down there and as this time it's on a weak bridge <laughs> i always think where it says weak bridge like this I always think that that's the name of the bridge because it does look a little bit like that weak bridge. Uh, this bridge is called weak bridge uh, yeah, and it doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence about driving over there, but it's not. It's saying the, bri the bridge is weak and uh, if you're over 18 tons, don't go down there. The next one um, is now no stopping. We can see the no stopping sign there inside the, the, the um, information. It sends a red route. And what you'll see is two red lines running across uh, along uh, the road there as well. Uh, that emphasizes that and it's no stopping at any time except if you're a bus in this instance. So this now is not a red circle, 
but it is a, just a blue disc. And a blue disc is instead of telling you not to do something, it's telling you to do something. And this means now you mustn't go under 30 miles an hour. So that's a minimum speed limit. So it's saying that on this road, you must drive at 30 or above. And now this one says that this is the end of the um, minimum speed limit and uh, you can now drive at the normal speed for that road, whatever the speed limit is on that particular road. This one tells you there's a mini roundabout and you'll see those on the actual roundabout themselves. So just before, just at the line where you go into the roundabout, where you cross into the roundabout, you'll see this sign. There'll be another sign earlier on, which is a which is a, a triangular sign, which is warning you of the roundabout. But this is saying the roundabout is here. <laughs> so and drive around it in this way. Don't drive over the top of it. And now these blue signs and now these blue signs that are telling you to do something are uh, kind of are, have arrows on them and they give you directions. So this one is a head only. That means you, you're not allowed to turn left or right off of this road, even if there's junctions there at this point. As you're coming up to this junction, it's saying drive ahead only. This one is saying keep left. So you might see this on a bollard where uh, on a kind of uh, you see them yellow and plastic bollards in the middle of the road sometimes. And it's saying on this junction, keep left. And that's keeping you away from the traffic on the opposite side. Also, there the might be on lane where there's temporary lane uh, markings where uh, they want you just to stay over uh, and over to the left at this time. This is telling you that you're on a one way street. And obviously, if you're on a one way street and you see these ones facing you, then you're all good to go because you're driving in the, in the correct direction. So it's different from the head, ahead only. This is telling you you're actually on a one way street and you can only drive down this road in this in this direction. This is giving you an order to turn left. So it's saying now uh, you must turn left. It's telling you to do something rather than prohibiting you from doing something. It's saying to you turn left. And there's one on the opposite way which says, or with the arrow facing the opposite way, which would be then turn right. This one is saying ahead. So if you're here, if you can imagine yourself being here, you're driving up the road, it's saying turn left ahead. So this will be a few meters or a few yards before you get to the junction. It's just giving you a reminder that the, the, the road ahead, you must turn left. And here's one where the, the, the catches people out on the theory test quite a bit. And it's what it is, it's you can other vehicles will pass you on either side to get to the same uh, destination. Very, very few times I've seen that, hardly ever in actual fact. I can't remember when I've ever seen that. But there it is. That's what it means that traffic can pass you on either side. So they're just telling you to be aware of that, really, and uh, to carry on from there. Not all the blue, not all the blue discs um, uh, are, are squares, are, are, are circular, should I say. This one is, is but it's giving you uh, a little plate to reinforce what it's saying. And it's saying cycles and buses only. It's not saying buses with roof racks that have cycles on them can I drive down this road? It's saying only buses and cycles can go down here. This is a sign that catches people out as well. It's a contraflow system. So it's saying that you are driving this way, but then you'll see buses coming from the opposite direction. OK, so it's contraflow. So the buses are flowing contra or, or to where you're to where you're going. This is one you'll see more and more, I think, um, as we come into the new normal and uh, people are trying to save the world. Um, you'll see more trams and uh, it's saying there's trams here. Look both ways. Do be careful. 
And here's another sign that I think we'll see more and more often uh, where uh, there's going to be certainly more cycle routes than there were before. Uh, or that's the plan, I imagine. And uh, it's saying that only cycles can go along this section of the road. And uh, that means uh, a cycle route, really. And again, it sends a cycle. This is where the cycle route will be on the path, uh, not on the road. It'll be on the pavement, really. And so it's, it's saying cycles and pedestrians can walk down this road. But there's a line in the centre to try and keep those two things apart. And this will be a bus lane and it will be saying that buses and cycles can drive in this lane. But you must keep out of it if you're in a car and you must be in this lane here. And now that's a cycle lane. And really, that's it. So we're back at this uh, highway code. Uh, that's the ones giving you um, <coughs> the, the road signs that give you orders. And as we know, um, the ones with the circular discs that have a red circle around them uh, you then that's giving you that order you mustn't it's giving you it's stopping you from doing something and the ones with the blue discs are telling you you must do something so that's your revision for today do stay tuned for um, the next set of revision which will be coming up shortly